I need your help. I'm trying to figure out which of these three microphones are the best as a mono overhead over my drum set. I spent the better part of last week going through all the large diaphragm condensers I have here at my studio and whittling it down to what I was hoping would be my favorite option, but it ended up at three and I'm having a hard time deciding which of these three will be my standard for the mono overhead. Mono overhead, 42 and a half inches. It's basically above, straight above the bass drum pedal like centered over the kit, angled just a little bit, so it's kind of getting some rack tom, some floor tom, some snare, right over the bass drum pedal, 42 and a half inches away from the snare drum. That's my spot for the mono overhead. The three mics that I ended up landing on that I need your help figuring out which ones I like best. The first one is the one I've been using for months. This is a really, um, absolutely incredible microphone. This is the Mojave MA300. This is a multi-pattern large diaphragm vacuum tube condenser. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's one of the nicest sounding microphones I've ever heard. And I've had it over the kit in the mono overhead. I'm using the cardioid pattern. It also can do um, omni and a, in, I guess it's bi-directional um, figure eight, but I'm using it in cardioid in that position. Um, and I've been using this for uh, like six months and it's been sounding great. So I'm just getting curious if some of these other mics might sound better. So we have this one. I have another Mojave, which is an MA301 FET, another large diaphragm condenser, multi-pattern. I have it in the, do I have it in the, yeah, I have it in the um, cardioid pattern. So the 301 FET is a solid state condenser mic. So it's based on the popular MA201 FET designed by David Royer, three position polar pattern, a pad, switchable bass roll off. Um, this is, I mean, there's all kinds of info on their website, but this is a FET style, so solid state. This is a tube style. And then the third option is this SEX1R. This is a ribbon mic by SE Electronics. Now SE describes this as a rugged, ribbon for any purpose. So it's a ribbon mic. It brings the magic, this is all coming from what they have on their website, Bing, brings the magic of a traditional ribbon mic into the modern age with a tough construction that can handle any SPL. Now it's one you can take on the road. It's suited for a variety of recording applications. And one of the applications they say is overhead drums. I've always wanted to use ribbons, um, but I just normally can't afford them. And these, um, these are not very expensive. So this is the third one. So. These were the three that when I tested them, I liked them all and I just couldn't decide. They each offer something very different. So we're gonna start with, well, we're gonna start with the one I've had up for the longest. So this is the MA300 tube condenser. And what I did here is I'm going to just play pretty much the same thing. It's like a beat, a hi-hat groove, some fills. I'm gonna move to the ride cymbal, a couple more fills and then end. You're gonna hear the mic soloed and then you're gonna hear the exact same recording with this mic mixed in with my close mics on the kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, and toms. There's no other overheads, there's no other rooms. So it's just that one overhead mixed with the close mics. So let's check out the MA300 first. Now let's shift over to the 301 FET. 
exact same thing. You're going to hear it soloed, and then you're going to hear it mixed in. No EQ, no no compression, no reverb, no nothing. All I did was put a, a limiter on the master bus just as a, a fail safe so it doesn't clip. But you're hearing just raw sounds coming out of the microphone. So we hear it soloed first and then mixed in with the close mics. This is the Mojave 301 FET. And lastly, here is the SEX1R ribbon mic. You're gonna hear it soloed, and then you're gonna hear it mixed in. So those are the three mics. Um, I really have, I'm not able to pick which one. I think they'll each serve a purpose for different things. I'm trying to determine which one would be just up there all the time and then I would swap it out. So what I'm noticing with the tube, the 300, really smooth, big full sound. Um, it just sounds really nice, really kind of smooth. It would be the word probably for me. The FET, I'm hearing a lot more detail, a lot more punch, maybe a little bit more aggressiveness. And then the with the SE ribbon, it's feeling darker and kind of wolfier and more kind of old school. And I can see applications for all three of these. Um, but let's just, now I'm gonna do a quick cut. So you're gonna hear like a couple beats of each one, starting with the 300 tube, 301 FET, and then the ribbon mic. And then let me know which one is your favorite as a mono overhead.